so you'll have to remind me if I forget anything. Okay, so here are my rules. So all of your materials that you have, your marker, your paper, your um, eraser, if all of those things can be down on the floor and out of your hands, even your baggie, in three, two, and one. Um, please sit up, baby. So here's the thing. Yes, um, my rule is, now that I've told you to put all those things on the floor, if I see that you're playing with those things, I don't give any warnings. I just have to take them from you. Okay? So I don't give any warnings. Everybody hear that rule? Okay, perfect. Um, because I want to see that you're working with me and not playing. Are you good with that? Okay, so interactive writing is where I write a little bit and you write a little bit and we help each other write these sentences. So the first thing we have to do is we have to decide what we're going to write about. We can write about anything you want. Does anybody have any ideas of what you would like to write about? Vanessa, what would you like to write about, baby? Um, animals. Animals, okay. What do you think, Roman? Um, my, um, my family. Your family, okay. We like writing about animals. We like writing about our family. Halloween. Okay, Halloween. Yes, baby. Minecraft. Minecraft, okay. Oh, yeah, yes. Minecraft. Minecraft, okay, yes. What would you like to write about, baby? Candy. Candy, okay. So, okay, one second. I know that there were some other people that um, had some great ideas, but we would, uh-oh, the sad thing is I see some people picking up their erasers. And remember my rule was that I take it if I see you drawing. So, Daniel, I'm going to take this, and I'll give it back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so I heard animals, I heard family, I heard Minecraft, and I heard Halloween. Okay, hold on, let me give you your choices again. I heard family, I heard animals, I heard Halloween, and I heard Minecraft. Okay, you can only vote once. You can only vote once. If you would like to write about your family, raise your hand. Roman? Okay. You know what? I love that you just did. Mm -hmm. You looked around. You saw that nobody else had their hand raised, but it didn't matter. You put your hand in the air because that's what you wanted to write about. You didn't let anybody else sway your vote like that. So we had one vote for family. Would anybody like to write about animals? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five people want to write about animals. Okay. If you would like to write about Halloween, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people want to write about Halloween. If you'd like to write about Minecraft, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can somebody tell me which category had the most? Halloween had the most. So is, is that okay if we write about Minecraft another time? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Sure it is. So Halloween, now I need you to tell me what we're going to write about Halloween. So we voted on what we wanted to write about. Now I need a great sentence. Okay, wait a second. Before you put your hands up, put your hands down for just a second. Is this a great sentence about Halloween? It is fun. No. no. We need more details. We definitely need more details. What about this? I like Halloween. No. no. More details. More details, definitely. Okay, so think about what you want to write about for Halloween. Ooh, there's so many fun things about Halloween. There's costumes, there's candy. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> Y'all have mushrooms, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, so here's the thing. If you can hear me, put your eyes on me. Ooh, if you can hear me, put your eyes on me. Thank you. The only kids that I can call on to give me great ideas are the kids that are sitting crisscross. Yes, baby. Tell me a good sentence about Halloween. I like to trick or treat with my friends. Ooh, how do we feel about that sentence? I like to trick or treat with my friends. Okay, that's a good one. Yes? I like to trick or treat and get candy with my best friends. Ooh, okay, so you know what he did? He just added to your sentence. I like to trick or treat and get candy with my friends. Pretty good. With my best friends. Oh, with my best friends. Okay, yes? I like to get my costume so I can scare Oh, I like to get my costume so I can scare people when I go to their house. Woo! Yes, baby. She's asked, yes, baby. Calling on you, Alex. Um, yeah. What would you like to write about Halloween? It's okay. I'll wait for you. Daniel, please stop. Give me a sentence about Halloween. Put your hands down. What he has to say is super important. Hmm. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Dressing up as Spider Man? You are? You can wear what you have on and dress up as Spider Man. Spider Man. 
Yes, yeah, so he might say, I am dressing up as Spider-Man for Halloween. Okay, so I like the sentence. I like to, um, what did you say? I like to trick-or-treat with my Oh, I think you said I like to trick-or-treat and get candy with my friends. That was me. Oh, okay. So can I combine your two sentences? I like to trick-or-treat and get candy for Halloween. Whew. Okay, so before I draw my lines, will you say that sentence with me? I like to trick or treat and get candy with my best Let's not do it on with us. So let's say on Halloween. Okay, let's do it again. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. One more time. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. How many words was that? Eleven. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to draw the lines, and you can either draw the lines or not draw the lines. It's completely up to you, but don't pick up your marker just yet. So watch me draw my lines. Ooh, please don't. Okay, here we go. Jess, you can move that tub off there onto the floor. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Will you say the words as I draw the lines? I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. And Halloween's a super long line. Halloween. That's a super long word. Okay, so this word I, there's a lot of things that are very special about the word I. It's one of the only words that has one letter in it, and it's at the beginning of our sentence. Come here, baby. Hmm, you can pick up your marker now. Um, would you like to use red and I'll use black? Would that be okay? So the kids are going to use red and I'm going to use black. Here you go. I, I'm going to start at the very top and pull down. And because it's at the beginning of our sentence and because it is the word I, is it uppercase or lowercase? Uppercase. Uppercase. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's very awesome. I like it. Okay, do you have the word I in your mouth? Thank you. Perfect. I... What's this one? It's Joshua. Joshua. Word. I like. Yes, I am. Does everybody have the word I? I like. Ooh, Itzel was really listening. And she's going to come and write the word like. Now, she can either write just the beginning sound for like, but she might know how to spell the whole word since it's a sight word. Let's see how she does it. Oh, no, she's going to do it. Let her use her own brain. How did she do, friends? Great. She did great. Do you have the word like? Did you make sure that there was a space between the word I, hands down, please? I'm calling on kids that are working, not with their hands up. Um, did you make sure there was a space between I and like? Yes. yes. Perfect. Thanks for those nice manners. I like two. two. Tell me. I like two. two. Come here, babe. Come here, Spider-Man. I like two. Can you spell the whole word two? Two. You can? Tell me how to spell it. Perfect. There's lots of different ways to spell two, but you're, you're correct. T O. If it if he were to put T W O, why would that be incorrect? That's a number word. That's a number word too. I like to. Perfect. I like to. Does everybody have I like to? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. I like to. Wait, trick. Trick or treat, right? Tur. Okay, put your hands on for a second. Let's sound this out together. Tur. Tur. Ooh, come here, friend. Tur. Start up at the top and pull down. Tur. Nice. Tur. Eh. Eh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you hear the k sound after a short vowel sound, it's at the end of the word. Don't yell it out for me. Let's let let's let um, our friend right here decide. Do you know what it is? Tur ik. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Because k and c have the same sound. I know that's exactly right. So what do you think it is? It's at the end of a word after a short vowel sound. Christopher, do you remember our little song? Oh, now I remember K. Oh, K. Okay. okay, so actually, there is a K. There's a C right here. But there is a K. Is it okay? 
It's a CK. Okay, that short bell sound. I like to trick. Trick. And you know what Christopher did that was so fabulous? Hand down and listen. He uh, just about put an uppercase T, didn't you? And then he thought, mm -mm, there's not an uppercase T. Why? Because, because I thought it was an uppercase T. Why? It was actually in the middle of the sentence, wasn't it? So you made it lowercase. Good job, buddy. Alex, right. you go ahead. Go check. Wonderful. I like to trick or, or come here, friend. Or. I like to trick me the word trick from. I like to trick or high school or. Perfect. Yes. Trick or, good job, buddy. Trick or treat. 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 Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Those of you that are yelling out of me, you know what you're doing? You're taking the ideas right out of other people's brains. Don't let, don't take those ideas out. Come here, Phil. Trick or treat. Can you spell it out loud for me first? Tur. T-R-E-A-T. Good job, baby. Treat. And we'll talk about this word. This has some tricky sounds in it. Tur. What two letters say tur? T-R. E. And there's a vowel combination. He knew it was E-A, <coughs> treat. Nice, very good. And after you have, I like to trick or treat. Will you take your paper and put it under your nose so that I can see? I like to trick or treat. Let me see. I'm looking for spaces. I'm looking for uppercase letters at the beginning. I like to trick wait, wait, wait. or treat. I'm missing a couple words. I'm looking for words that are sitting right on the line, that nice, neat handwriting. I like to trick or or treat. There you go. Let me see. Put it under your nose, not above your head, under your nose so I can still see your pretty eyes. I like to trick or treat. Okay, you can put them down. I like to trick or treat. And. And, friend. And. And is another slight word, correct? And. 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 You guys have way more red letters than I have black letters. You're going to beat me for sure. Yep, there's another one on that wall. I know, I see it. Yeah, like last time. Mm -hmm. You got I like to trick or a treat. Yeah. And, oh, is everybody else writing the word and? Make sure, Roman, you come all the way to the side of the word. And, nice, thank you. And, how do you spell and? Tell me one more time. A N D. Uh huh, and get. And sometimes we say get, like, oh, sit on your bottom, please. Sometimes we say get, and it sounds like g i. But actually, it's get, get, trick or treat, and get, get, get. Can you spell it out loud for me? Get. Get. I like. Good job, baby. I like to trick or treat and get candy. Candy. Oh, Christopher, that's another one of the tricky ones. It starts with C or K. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Come here. Okay, but before you write it, Jacob, I want you to tell your friends. Come here. I want you to tell your friends candy. Does it start with a C or a K? C. C. Tell them why. It's okay. Tell them. Uh -uh. Oh, no, no. Hang on. You can remember Nope, let him, let his brain, um, think about it. A takes I -E C takes candy. Yes, so, yeah. A -N, right? So the C came before an A, and so that's why it was a C. Cup and. Don't, don't worry, Jacob, some of us make mistakes. Right. Absolutely, Christopher. Some of us do remember talking about that. Yep. Candy. Oh, and it sounds like that there's an E at the end, but there's not. It's a C. Don't worry, Jacob. Candy. Do you know what's at the end? It is actually a Y. Because my sometimes makes Can I tell you what I'm most proud of Jacob for? Look at this beautiful handwriting. Beautiful. Always so taking nice. his time. Mm -hmm. Taking his time going really slow so he knows he does the best job. Good Thanks, job, Jacob. Jacob. Oh, I love when you um, like That's say nice things to other kids. Okay, can we read so far? I, oh, put your hand down and read. I like to trick or treat and get candy with on. On, on. Come here, baby. On.
It's pretty easy, but it's okay. Sometimes we forget those easy words. On. Can you spell it for me? Good job. I love it when you encourage your friends. I wish I spoke Spanish. Okay, I, like, I like who added she speaks Spanish and English. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. I wish I, I know. I wish I knew two languages. Okay, let's read. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. Okay, well, wait a second. There's a lot of things that we have to remember about Halloween. Okay, now, first of all, hands down, let's talk about it for a second. Halloween is a holiday, just like Christmas and Thanksgiving and Veterans Day. So Halloween and St. Patrick's Day. Now, I'm looking for somebody that's been sitting very, very quietly, not yelling out. Their hands are down. They're really thinking. So Halloween, because it's a holiday, come here, baby. Because it's a holiday, does it start with an uppercase letter or a lowercase letter? It does start with uppercase. And what uppercase letter does it start with? Halloween. It sure does. Halloween. And I'm going to tell you that Halloween is a really hard word to spell even for grown-ups. So, Halloween. What do you hear next? Uh-huh. Halloween. 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 Mm -mm. I need him to use his own brain. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Say yes, ma'am. Thank you. Halloween. How? Can I? Can I add a note really quick? There is a W. Is there two L's? Yes. Yes. Two E's first. What E? No. You put your hand. Oh, it's a tricky one. Did you hear me? I didn't even remember that there were two L's. Sometimes you have to write it out so you remember how it's spelled. Halloween. Okay. So are we finished? No. What are we? What do we need? Mm, what do we need? Well, we're finished with the word, but are we finished with the sentence? Period. Ah, uh, who is shouting out? Because I'm just going to ignore those people no, that are shouting no, no, no. out. Because you're just taking those ideas right out of his brain. So do you, I'm Roman, I'm talking to this friend right here. Punctuation? You want to put a period or a question mark or an exclamation mark? What do you think? Okay, sure. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. So he's telling us he's going to put a period. Now, if he was super excited about it, what would he put? Exclamation, an exclamation mark. mark. Thank you very much. You did a great job on Halloween. Okay, so let me see your sentence. Put it under your nose. Let me see. Let me see. Good job, Josh. Nice. Beautiful. Good job, punctuation, baby. Turn it around, baby, so I can see, honey. Good. I love the punctuation I'm seeing. Nice. Make sure H is uppercase for your holiday, baby. Let me see. I love it. Good job, friends. Don't worry. I can Good job. Oh, I like how some people put exclamation marks because they were super excited. Okay, so now turn your um, paper back around and put your hands in your lap in three, hands in your lap in two, hands in your lap in one, and put your eyes on me. Okay, so here's our next part. We have to read this sentence. We're going to read it several times, and I'm going to ask you to read these words for me, okay? Don't go quicker than I do. Here we go. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. Good job. Do it again. I like to trick or treat and get candy on Halloween. Good job. Um, Vanessa, what word is this? Trick. Nice. Um, it's sell. What word is this? Good. Um, what word is this? Halloween. Good job. Christopher, what word is this? Ethan, what word is this? Ethan. I don't have any. Ethan. Good. What is it? Treat. Treat. Good. Um, from right here, what word is this? Like. Good. Eddie, what word is this? On. On. Good. What word is this? Trick. Very good. Look at you guys. So th the reason that we don't write um, these on the active board because now we can take this paper and put it somewhere in the room. And if you ever want to know how to spell Halloween, you can look right here. 
If you ever want to know how to spell candy, you can look right here. So you can refer back to this chart. It's called an anchor chart. But we need to see who was way smarter. Was it the kids or was it the teacher? Let's count the letters. Okay, who do we want to count first, teacher or kids? Kids. Kids? Okay, let's count. You ready? You got to count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 31, 32, 34, 35, 36. Okay, right, let's see how many the teacher got. You ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here is a super duper hard question, and here's your mission. Nobody can yell it out. You have to think about it. How many more, how many more did the kids get than the teacher? I only got five. You got 36. How many more? up from 5 to 36, or you can count from 36 backwards to get to 5, but you got 31. That's correct. Good job. So you had 31 more. Okay, here's my next question. Okay, you ready for it? Daniel, turn around, baby. Okay, so the kids got 36, right? Yes. How many more would the kids need to get to 40? How many more would the kids need to get to 30? You can picture that number line in your head if you need help. So the kids got 36. How many more do they need to get to 30? Just like you're doing your number talks, can you give me a, um, a thumbs up if you have an answer? Mm. Jacob, how many more would they need to get? Four. Four more. Tell me how you know. Um, because I had the number line in my head, like you said, mm -hmm. and I started six and I counted four more, and I saw it equal 40. Nice. You started at 36, counted four more, got to 40? Perfect. Okay, what about five? How many more would I need to get to 10? How many more would I need to get to 10? Five. Five more. It's just the same thing as this. Watch this. If you have five, and I said, how many more do you need to get to 10? That missing add end is what? Five. Five. Just like that. Good job, friends. You guys did a great job. 150 is the, it's closest, like, it's the middle is the number. It's the number in the middle. Good job. You guys can reach your words. Thank you for doing interactive writing with me today. Was that super fun?